Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming. We're playing Mech Warrior 5. We're playing Merc Tech. And as you can see, we've got some new stuff. Now, I don't normally play much in between episodes. Occasionally, I'll play for a little bit. You know, here and there, I've run a couple missions. I've probably run six or fewer missions total in between episodes that you guys didn't see up to this point. Um, I have probably played six or seven since the last episode. Um, the one that I think went up on Saturday. Saturday? Probably yesterday, because I want to play more. So um, I have a feeling this is going to be a Sunday episode. I actually filmed a Sunday episode, uh, just a one-man, let's look at some more gun type of video. Um, but I don't think it's going to go up. I think we're going to stick with the campaign, because I'm having fun playing the campaign. So what happened was I played a few episodes, earned some money, did a little shopping. Then I did my weekend episodes for last weekend, and rethought all of my missile strategies <laughs> because I had such a good time um, with dead fire SRMs and dead fire LRMs um, that I rebuilt stuff and then wanted to play some more to verify how it went. Now, in the process, I have picked up some more mechs. You'll see one of them was right there. So right now, what we have, I spent a lot, a lot of money on an Atlas K and I bought this in the first round, uh, probably right after well, shortly after. I bought it with the, the money I earned in that previous one. Um, and Atlas uh, 7K, I want to say this one was almost 20 million. It was stupid expensive. Stupid expensive. So let's take a look, see what we did to it. Um, this is the loadout on it right now. It's got a Gauss, it's got an LRM 20. Um, at the moment, it's got dead fire LRMs because yes. Um, this one does have AMS and uh, does have AMS ammo, actually. So we've got an AMS in the arm, which is probably going to lose it. Um, and we do have some ASM AMS ammo. Now, we do have another... We had another AMS. Oh, we got another one again. I, I bought one, found ammo for it, but by the time I'd found ammo for it, apparently I'd given up and sold it. So we've got another, another one since then. Maybe we got it as loot. We might have picked it up as loot. I don't remember. But regardless, we'll probably lose this one. Um, but that's what it has on it. Uh, and then some large lasers in the arms, tier four, a couple medium pulse lasers in the torso, which I haven't upgraded because I don't think I have better medium pulse lasers. Um, now we could narrow it down to just regular medium lasers if we wanted to, but we'll stick with the pulses for now. We've got the room, we've got the weight for it. Maybe we decide we need more ammo. Maybe we decide we go case, we get rid of these, we move some heat sinks or something in here. You know, there, there's options, but for now, I think we go with it. It does have an XL in it. Um, we're pretty much, I think we're maxed out on armor. So 624 armor and an initial firepower of 79.5 with a um, DPS of 16.84. So it's pretty badass. Um, it's pretty badass. Uh, I probably won't be piloting it that often. I did give it a couple runs um, and didn't love it. Um, it's just a little too complicated as far as the number of weapon systems and ranges for me, but it'd be good for the AI. Um, I would probably pilot the D more often than I would pilot the K at this point. Uh, things are just a little simpler in it. Um, you can see we've still got the Beagle. Um, I did have somebody comment uh, on it, and that comment I can't find now. I tried to respond to it right then. It wouldn't let me respond to it. Every time it took me to the video, it wouldn't show up. And when I went into my video, YouTube videos, uh, comments, it doesn't show up there either. So if you're the one that left me that comment talking about the Beagle Active Probe uh, and how it gives you a little bit more range, it gives you faster targeting, it lets you target um, shutdown mechs as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I tried to respond when it came in and it just wouldn't let me and I can't find it now. So um, if you guys are seeing it on the video, or uh, on a video, <laughs> let me know which video it's showing up on because it's not showing up in my list of unreplied to and it wouldn't let me reply to it. Um, so I, I'm not sure what happened to it. Um, YouTube being YouTube. Um, but we've got it. Uh, this is especially good, I guess, if you're going to be doing a lot of um, Inferno missiles and you're shutting mechs down to hang on to that targeting. Now, clearly you don't need to target them to continue to, to just shoot them if they're stopped and not moving, but um, it is nice to nice to have. So, uh, And we, we did switch to the dead fire LRMs on this one as well, because I think for this, this is more of a, of a just a punch in the face mech, it's more of a brawler. I mean, yeah, it's nice to be able to sit back and have a weapon system that can throw some LRMs in. And you could go with one ton of, say, standard LRMs that you use while closing into the fight. And that's probably a good idea. And then switch to the dead fires when you go in. But I have a feeling that once I'm in combat, I'll be dead firing people in the face so quickly that I'm going to want the extra ammo for that. So um, that was the change for the D. Uh, I picked up a King Crab. This was much cheaper. I think we paid seven and a half mil for it, something along those lines. Um, 
Not my favorite one. I prefer the one with two LRMs on the back rather than the LRM laser. This laser just kind of feels weird and out of place. Um, it does have the AC20 Imperators, um, which are fine. Um, they have fought better firing speed to cost accuracy, and they require this extra little tonnage up there for some reason. They're there. Um, I played with um, Rack 2s in the video you're not going to see. Um, and so we might go with some racks in this. Probably not rack twos. We've only got the two hard points. Um, so we'll, if we can find a bigger rack um, system, um, we'll go with that. Um, but for now, that's what's in it. Uh, pretty simple, two AC-20s, LRM-15, large laser. And we've got dead fire in that too. I might change that. I might, hmm. I like having that, but this one, we'll leave it for now, but put a pin in it because this is a decision I could easily find myself reversing and going back to just your standard LRMs uh, because I think this one, as it's set up, can be a little bit more of a longer range brawler and especially with the large laser, we might prefer to just have regular LRMs. Uh, we'll just have to kind of play it by ear. I mean, we don't have huge range, um, you know, 270 meters for this, but I don't know. Uh, it's just there's so much of the battlefield that you can't affect with this thing right now except with one large laser. Um, you know, that I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I love King Crabs. I don't love this one as it's set up at the moment. Um, Highlander. Highlander has been doing work. Um, Kelly, who is who we've been running in our, our trail position, um, has been just absolutely destroying stuff in this thing. Um, and this has the two ER PPCs and an LRM-15. Doombud, uh, I have upgraded to Artemis and left it with standard LRMs. I foresee this mostly being, even though I really like it, mostly being our number four mech in our um, kind of sniper LRM boat role, um, as opposed to in your face. With these two ER PPCs, I think the LRMs just, standard LRMs just go better. So what we did was we upgraded it to Artemis uh, to get a little bit better hit rate out of it and uh and it's it's just it's good it's good um as you can see i changed paint schemes i want our fanta paint schemes because i just had such a good time with them uh they're just so nice uh, most everything is kind of set up more or less in this color of the person i expect to pilot it um uh with fanta one the the uh i guess we'll call it cherry fanta the red fanta um being ruth uh, the green Fanta, the lime Fanta, Fanta 2, whatever you want to see, um, being, um, um, what's his name that we rescued early, whose name I can't remember, and Fanta 3, the lemon Fanta, the yellow Fanta, is Kelly. Um, barracks. It's gonna drive me nuts now. Freeman, there we go. There we go. So Freeman, Ruth, Kelly, and myself is kind of the standard ones there. All right, the other mech that saw big changes, and I think you could probably guess, is the Stalker 3H. Not a lot of changes up here, but again, we went to dead fire, and we went to a lot of dead fire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tons of, de six tons of dead fire in case, um, with four medium lasers, double cooling, um, that's kind of all I could squeeze into it. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be, and you can see, you can see from the paint scheme that it's meant for Fanta Prime or, or me more often than not. Uh, we do still have the Annihilator. Um, it's still an Annihilator. All the weapons have been upgraded. It makes a great sniper to sit back. It's slow as dirt. I don't really like it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Annies, um, just in general. Um, it's kind of an ugly, whoops. It's kind of an ugly mech. Um, with this kind of weird, I don't know what's going on. Um, but it's got a lot of guns. Although only a sustained DPS of 12, um, which is, you know, not spectacular. Um, 16 on our Atlas D, uh, almost 17 on the Atlas K, uh, almost just under 16 on the King Crab. So we're looking 16 to 17 here, and we're looking 12 here. So that's a pretty significant DPS drop off. So it's got a big alpha, but it doesn't have much of a con uh, consistent firepower. Um, our awesome has a is eight and a half though, and it does work. So you know you definitely can do that, um, but it for whatever reason I just don't see a lot out of that. But we'll keep it. It's a hundred ton mech. Um, Black Knight hasn't really changed. Uh, he also has a sustained DPS of 12, so, you know, 
uh, in in that same deal. Um, the grasshopper, uh, just under 10. The stalker obviously is stupid with a sustained DPS of almost 28 uh, and an initial burst of 150. Uh, Victor is 10 and a half. Highlander, uh, 10 and a half. And the other Victor is just under 10, nine and a half. So um, Ryan has 10, nine, six, seven, 12. So our rifleman and the Annihilator are about the same. Um, is what it is. What does this one have? About six on our Wolfhound, but we know this one punches above his weight. So that's that. That's the big changes. Um, like I said, I played a lot more than I normally do um, in between because I was having a good time. So I've flown us in here. There's a pirate hunt mission here. We are in Arisi here, which is in the uh, a Reputation 13 level zone. So I figured we'd take that one um, and see how it goes. Uh, we don't know what they're giving us. Um, many residents in the Rassog Military District uh, oh, this is another uh, Paleo Lip Service House Kirita. Um, but this is another Kirita one. And loyal service to the DCMS regiments drawn from the popular uh, population remains likewise questionable. While troops in this region follow orders, there are rogue elements within the district, and some have allowed their disloyal nature to corrupt their better selves. Tasa Lucas Ranta, formerly of the first Alton Markt. Militia is one such fallen soul. When even his general could not curtail his outspoken anti curitan attitudes, the Draconis Combine mustered soldiery was forced to step in. Instead of accepting his punishment, he led a portion of his little soldiers into the outer reaches of the Combine, embracing a life of piracy. Such a sort of disloyalty with a high-ranking Combine warrior and hailing from a unit intended to curtail rebellious activity is not only embarrassing to the DCMS, but if the traitor is not put down with prejudice, this situation can shatter the already weakening faith the people in this region have in the coordinator. These deserters must be hunted down, not only to stop their activities, but to dissuade their other rassle haggy from a similar path. Be aware that Ranta himself might be difficult to confront at first. Uh, however, you strip the protection of his subcommanders provide, he will have little choice but to face you on the battlefield himself. So, first target involves the liberation of farming community Ranta's pirates have occupied. Utter lack of honor may force them to use locals as human shields, and they might raise farmland to distract you from their objectives. Destroy any bandits you find, keep casualties of the peasantry to a minimum, and preserve as much agricultural property as possible. Even peasants serve an important function for the dragon. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're gonna hop in here to this contract. We, it's in his uh, assassination, and uh, we will kind of do our normal here. Um, I guess that's max on that, so we'll just uh, maybe we'll put one more into money. These things are becoming a little bit expensive to maintain, um, so maybe we'll put one more into into repairs there, and we'll drop uh, difficulty ninety five, tonnage limit of four hundred. Let's see how these do. Um, I'm gonna hmm. So we've got a couple options here. Kelly in this thing is is good. Probably better than anything else we put her in. But for our first mission back, I would like you guys to see the 400 ton lance. Whoops, that's not what I'm looking for. The 400 ton lance. So we need to put her in the ante. So everybody's in there, 100 tonner. Everybody's got one. And then maybe for the next mission, we'll switch it up. I will take my stalker. We'll put her in the Highlander, which I think is a more effective unit, even though we're going to be giving up a little bit of tonnage. And uh, let's drop and see how our 400 ton, uh, <laughs> how we do. All systems nominal. We need to reveal the prime target, Tysa Ranta. But in order to do that, we must assassinate the pirate subcommander, Shane Simitsu. He's nearby. Sweep the battlefield and take him out when you find him. Oops, I gotta go slow for the Annie. We'll get within, we'll we'll crest the hill, and then we'll pour on the speed. Not that the crab is fast, but you know what I'm saying. So uh, we'll we'll do it that way. That way we don't leave the Annie behind. But once we get reasonable, she can sit back and snipe in that thing uh, with whatever it is, the four PPCs, uh, and hopefully do some work. Hopefully more work than I do with it, because I generally have to perform more of a brawling mission. I, as the player, it's harder for you to play a support mission. Generally speaking, I would say. I don't think that helicopter's coming towards us. Or, well, it's definitely not now. There we go, she started doing work with long range already. Seven fifty. I would really like to be close to the top here before I, before I push it. Or more accurately, I'd like her to be close to the top. I'm gonna wait here. Ruth wants some too. Uh, somebody was shooting at that one as well, it looked like. 
AMS did its job. You see the missiles get shot down there. That's pretty cool. I like it. I'm going. I'm going in. Come on. Ah, yeah. uh, we want torso. There we go. All that stuff's down. All right, we'll just turn the corner here. And I'm going to slow back down again. Um, so we will... I'll let somebody else kill him. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to be killing peasants, damn it. I'm sorry, peasants. I'm sorry. That was a mistake. I'm pretty sure I saw a turret pop up there, though. I am allowed to stomp turrets. I'm pretty sure. Never mind. Didn't have to. All right. I'm going to slow back down again. Let the Annihilator catch up. And then... Oh, you know what? He's right here. We're just going. He's just going. I don't know. Uh, he's not really moving. I suppose we give him some LRMs. Now, this is not my favorite LRM because it streams him out, which makes kind of the dead fire a little harder. But still reasonably effective. You just have to hold your target longer. Oh, that was fast. All right. So what I'm going to do is... I am uh, going to kill these tanks here on my way out the door. Hey, I actually hit it with the, the laser. Um, cycled again. There we go. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, we're going to kill this hunchback on the way. I was just going to leave, but we may as well. I think we missed with almost all that. There we go. Down he goes, and we will see you on the ship. Um, not much salvage here. Um... Tier 4 medium laser. We've got a bunch of them, but it never hurts to have extras. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess they're reasonable. There's just not much here that we need. Um, oops. Yeah, I guess we go something like that. I don't know that we need an AC-20 either, but we'll take it just in case. And we have AC-20s on stuff now. Um, we took very little damage. I took 140. Um, 17, 0. How much did you do? 124, 48. It, there just wasn't any to do, be done. I mean, let's let's be fair. They both still got three kills. Um, you know, there just wasn't much. And uh, the Atlas K came in with 282 damage, so. Is what it is. Let's go ahead and get back to here and see where part two is going to take us. Commended the restraint to the cowardly pirates attempt to use peasants as shields. Ignore the, ignore the houses I stepped on. Um, however, you have allowed many of the traitors to escape justice. To rectify this remaining good graces, must complete the job. Uh, his band of traitors has gone to ground a world renowned for its storms. You need to eliminate them and fight through the terrifying weather. He's known to be in the area. Eliminate him and any of his uh, commanders. All right, fair enough. Uh, view system, Outer Volta. Uh, well, I guess a system that sounds like it's kind of in the middle of the um, Siberia. That uh, would be like the Outer Volga. The Upper Volga? Hmm, you know, my geometry is not as good as I like to pretend it is, and I'm not actually sure where the Volga River flows. Um, I don't know if that goes into a bad area or not. But it sounds, the upper Volta sounds like it should be, although it looks like a nice world. I don't see a lot of crazy storms going on right now. It'd be nice if this matched what they told you, right? If, if you look down, it was just swirling like hurricane or tornado type 
style clouds going everywhere. You know, big big typhoons swirling around the planet. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it seems like it'd be a pretty easy thing to do to make a few models that are just colored that way to give you some different stuff. So if it's a storm world, it has that. If it's a water world, it has one. If it's a, you know, a desert world or whatever, that'd be pretty neat. I think, I think they should do that. I think it'd be pretty easy to do. I wonder how easy it is to mod those assets. It's probably not too difficult to add some in. The, probably the hardest thing is adding them in to fit any flavor text. It might be interesting just to throw a bunch in and just call it good and have them randomly pop up. Um, all right, let's check the contracts. We are, oh, I didn't fix stuff, did I? Um, it doesn't really matter that much. The K is the only thing that took any damage that we're gonna use this next time. Um, but we may as well hit repair anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna hit wait to get the K repaired. Now we're gonna take the contract. Um, oh, they're only gonna give us four salvage this time. We really didn't need the extra money down there last time, but we'll take it this time. All right, so I'm going to take the crab out. I'm going to take the Annihilator out. I'm going to put in the Stalker for me. I'm going to put in the Highlander. Now, I did figure out the Highlander. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure why it wouldn't let us put in an engine before, but I did get one put in. Um, I want to say it's a 390. Um, but you can see it has a speed of like 68.4 now, so it's reasonably fast. Um, you know, 48, 48. 48 um, but it's enough that it can run with our victors and uh, our our grasshoppers without slowing everything to a crawl because I want to say it was 48 before um, so we did upgrade that engine I believe it's an XL as well um, so let's go ahead and uh, drop again and we'll see how this one goes we're on the hunt for a high-ranking member of Ranta's bandits the target's name is Lucius Oeda and shouldn't be far from your location but be prepared for heavy resistance Confirmed. All right, we're gonna hop around this little rock here. Nope, he's not there. He's not there. Run around. Turn around. Turn around. They haven't even left yet. We already know that. No reason to go in there and, and pull whatever fights there are. It looks like. Um, do I want to just take that little road up there? Yeah, I'm gonna take this little road up here. Oh no, wrong side. No, I lied. I'm gonna take this road or this flow, which is probably it. Um, oops. We'll call it kind of a, a mud flow or a lava flow. Somebody's shooting me. Stop that. I missed him. I have to remember what my buttons are. <laughs> Wasted some missiles there. Wasted some missiles. Oh, I got a little gnat thing right in my eye. He likes to fly like right here. Like, no, go away, little man. I don't want to kill you, but you're taking... What are we doing back here? Why are we not looking the right direction? Oh, well... Because there's LRMs back there. Fair enough. Can we can we go this way now? You say that, but you keep looking the other direction. There you go. There you go. Kelly's here. At least Kelly loves me. Come on, let's go. Fanta Fanta, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't talked to Freeman. I'm not really sure which one he prefers. If he's got a pronoun of choice. Doesn't matter, he's a mech warrior. We're all green. Our target is not here. Let's hope we have better look at the other locations. I don't really want to waste all of my I mean I know I have a lot of LRMs. I don't really want to waste any. Let's see, is that guy in, okay that's on this side, so we can hit that. Boom. Dead. Get that. Kind of pick our way through all this crap here. I'm gonna say that this world, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe the storms cause essentially all this mud combined. Oh yeah, look, we're in a very active area, right? We've got the little, little geysers popping up there. So this is kind of that, that flow that, uh, there's a word for that. The flow that comes out of the volcano that's kind of. You know, from the melted ice and crud that comes along with everything else and the smoke, and it all blends together into this mix, mix of hell, right? This is where we need Splat. Splatter, splatter cat to tell us with all his geography stuff. All right, um, dude, I got bad news for you. Get back to 
I'm going to stop for a second. Uh, we're a little bit hot. But um, otherwise, um, we killed stuff. Not going to bother with you. And we're just going to kill some tanks on our way out here because they're shooting me and I'm not a fan of that. Oh, he lived. Yeah. With his flamers. Um, what happened to Kelly? Uh, this is not the first time this has happened. Kelly has uh, been killed once before. Well, been shot once before in the Highlander while you guys are gone. Um, now let's bail before we take any more. Um, and the entire, like, half of the mech was perfect, and then the other half was gone. Like, one arm, torso, and leg just gone, and there wasn't a scratch in the other. So it must have been, like, a crit into ammo. Um, because it's an XL, does the, I wonder if the engine crit, if that torso just blows off the whole side, if that's what happens. We'll have to look to see what this one looks like. Um, she was injured for a while. Um, it didn't happen to matter or slow us down because we were traveling a lot at the time and building and waiting. Um, but that Highlander has exploded quickly before without anybody having taken any real damage. So let's see what happened this time. I will take the victor, why not? LRM 20. We could... We could swap that out for the one on top of the crab because that's going to be a big shot of them, not individual. But I think we'll take the victor. We'll just take the money. We might need it here in a second. Headshot. Hmm. Again, we're missing an arm, a torso, and a leg, and she took head damage. Do we think that's an XL explosion? Because that's pretty much exactly what I saw last time. Um, there's a part three of this. So let's go ahead and take a look. I mean, see, look, no, nothing happened here, right? This is fine. Um, actually, it's funny because it shows the center being there, right? Let's back up one. Oh, no, it shows a CT gone, being gone as well. I think that's a crit. I think that's an engine crit that's causing that. I can't figure out what else it might be, but you can see it wiped out everything there. The PPCs hung around. Same thing last time. They took some damage. They took a crit, but not enough crits to, to wound them, to get rid of them completely. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering. I'm wondering because, I mean, we have some LRMS ammo in the leg here, but that's it. So I'm wondering if that is... I'm going to repair all. I'm going to do... I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm wondering if... 20 armor is not a lot in the back. I'm going to knock, actually knock that up to 25. I'm wondering if we're getting a, uh, a through... You know, if they're getting through that armor and hitting that. Because it's the second time I've seen it now. Uh, and it's exactly the same both places. Uh, we need some heat sinks. Uh... Uh, I don't think I have any more jump jets. I do not. I'm down to two. Uh, I wonder if the market has any jump jet class ones. Nope, they do not. Um, we might have to wait on that. I won't. Re I'll leave it because I'd like it to have jump. It needs to be jump capable. Um, but yeah, I'm beginning to wonder. I'm beginning to wonder. Um, ammo. Uh, Artemis, LRM, Artemis. Oh, and I didn't even think to look what damage she did. Darn it, I didn't even look. I was so worried about what we blew up. I did not even look to see how everybody did. I'm sorry, you guys can go back and take a look. I, however, have missed it forever, at least until I edit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We just lose everything over with no damage here. Uh, and I'm not sure why, um, but it's happened twice. We clearly didn't take very much damage. Um, so I'm not sure what's causing it. Could it be a heat issue, do we think? Maybe it's overheating and causing crits in the thing, which then hits, causes an engine crit? I don't know. I don't know. 
It's interesting, though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell this Victor. I don't see a need to keep that one. It's a 9S. Uh, market. Um, descending. Inventory. Wait, I thought I... I didn't I just say descending? Oh, value descending. Yeah. Let's try this again. ABC descending. There we go. That's the one I want to sell. They have here black. They had a battle master. Okay, that's what I saw. Um, no, I think we're fine. I do like battle masters though, and energy builds with machine guns. I mean, it's just a good build. It's just a good build. Um, but we're 30 minutes here. I'm gonna try to get the episodes down a little bit. I know they've been a little bit long lately. So we'll end this one here. We'll come back next episode for Pirate Hunt Part Three, uh, and we'll see if we can figure out what's happening with that um, with that Highlander. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Cheers.